In this lesson, I'd like to show you some more seventh chords. Not only will I be demonstrating how to play them, but you'll also learn how they are constructed and therefore how they get their names. So far, you should have learnt the shapes for various major, minor and seventh chords. We have dealt with major and minor chord construction in a previous lesson on arpeggios, and so we know that these chords are made up of the first, third and fifth notes of their respective scales. Now, let's take a look at seventh chords. These are made from the first, third, fifth and seventh notes of the scale. The chord you already know as a seventh is properly called a dominant seventh. This chord is actually a major chord but contains a minor or flat seventh note. Let me explain. If we play the scale of A major like this and count the notes as we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We can see that the seventh note is a G sharp. Now we know from our dominant seventh chord that it actually contains the note of G on the third string played open. This is the flatted or minor seventh note of the scale of A and is the note we would add into the major chord to give us a dominant seventh chord. Hopefully with some practice and patience you'll be able to understand how this works.